Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so it looks like um, you get somebody from the past trying to apply pressure, honey. They're trying to come back, apply something. Pressure to, you, I'm going to let you use your imagination. But it looks like they want to come back. They Okay, so I was getting the energy of they feel like this is like a single woman, maybe divorced or never been married or something of that nature, who just ain't got no options or you should talk to me, you should deal with me because I know you're single or you're not dealing with anybody or no one's taking you serious. So, you know, Hey, why not deal with me? Why not give me a chance? Why not um, let me give you get the opportunity to get you wrapped up in me once again and give you nothing while you give me everything? So it's like somebody's like, okay, um, you're the divorcee, you're single. Hey, you're older. You know, I don't know. They could just be really trying to play you to the left, like you're their only option or you're the best viable option and even if they are you still you know gotta hold your hand close to your chest like look get out of here with that okay before you get cursed all right before I start cursing get out of here with that you know just move on you know it is what it is I don't want you you aren't giving me what I want because it looks like somebody it's somebody here who doesn't want to settle down but they do want you as an option all right they want to come towards you and, you know, have some, you know, good times, fun times with you. What's going on here for Taurus? Or this is what Taurus is doing. Taurus has found someone who they feel like will be like, like, this is like an energy of somebody feels like, oh, you would make the best side person, side girl, side dude, whatever. So let's see what is happening here for Taurus. I see a two card. Yeah, seven of cups and a hermit card. So it's like um, somebody feels like, okay, yeah. Um, they're, so they could be away from you or you left them or you ghosted them or there's like a ghosting situation now somebody wants to return seven of cups you know feed you all the sweet nothings blah 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 I missed you let's do this let's do that someone also felt like they were losing control in this connection so now they feel like they need to come back and say something um, that they were procrastinating or took too much time away from you uh, and you're getting away now you're seeing clearly or you're getting out of the fog of or the delusion of this relationship and now somebody's like okay let me make you fall in love with me again knight of cups here uh, let me apply a bit of uh, pressure, uh, lies, manipulation, create a cast an illusion, make promises, and make good on none of them. You could be dealing with a Scorpio also. It could be anybody here. Let's see. What else? It could be dealing with a Virgo. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. King of Swords. So it's like somebody who is has estranged. King and Queen of Swords. It's a very mental relationship. It's like you, you guys do all these mental battles and agility and you got to know what to say to this person and you got to come with the strategy and blah 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 it just seems like the love the compassion is gone from this relationship because there's an energy of needed to be calculated because i don't trust you so i need to have the one up on you or i need to you know um this is games and the art of manipulation here and there's also somebody here holding back their emotions they don't want to show their emotions you don't want to show yours they don't want to show theirs um, there's also like an energy of this relationship has been on hold for a while and now somebody's trying to bring it back or revive it, resuscitate it, you know, by feeding you the sweet nothings, making you fall in love with them again, or this is what you're doing towards. Somebody doesn't like being ignored or not acknowledged and therefore they're coming back. And then also you may have felt used or not acknowledged or ignored. And now this person wants to resurface. It could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, um, anybody here, but. It looks like somebody just wants you to come back or they want an opportunity to come back into your life. But they're not offering very much and they might not even stick around. They might be out once again because they feel like this could be a relationship where they uh, cycle in and cycle out. Because you would be the best side person uh, for their already existing relationship. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates. Let's get you some advice here. Get, drop down in the comment section and let me know how this resonates for you. All right. So yeah, forgiveness. Yeah, they're coming back off asking for forgiveness. Big happy changes. Uh, choose a new direction. So it looks like you can forgive this person. Um, 
they may even be coming back and asking for forgiveness, but I feel like you need to forgive yourself and forgive this person so that you can have the big happy changes manifest in your life. And you definitely need to choose a new direction because with this person in this relationship, you'll never get what you want or what you desire. All right. Somebody, you could have had a change of heart, a change of personality. You're just not with it no more. Whatever it was, you're not with it anymore. All right, Taurus, the links are all at the at the bottom well, not the bottom, but in the description box, um, get your own personal reading, uh, $25 readings for 10 minutes are on sale. I'll link it below. Um, uh, what else? If you have a question immediately, you can always text it to the number below. And uh, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and, uh, yeah, Tuesday, Thursday night at 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. And if you feel like you took something from the reading, you got clarity, you could always buy me a coffee. The link is below that says buy Ella coffee. Uh, I want to shout out to New York, L.A., Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, Houston, Philadelphia, London, and Florida. Um, I have high viewership there, so thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally or even physically and this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations if you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction then you're in the right place as a successful entrepreneur spiritual guide and intuitive business coach I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.